Hi, Gary here. It's not much of a tale, but I'm sort of attached to it. Ha! Huh, that's Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. And you know, most of us don't like many Eeyores in our life, or we don't want to be an Eeyore. And that brings me up to an article that came out of um, medium.com, Nine Habits to Increase Your Energy. But I'm just going to give you six uh, habits, and some of them, some are mine, that I adhere to or try to adhere to. Number one, and go to sleep early. Uh, makes a big difference if your body's full of energy when you get up every morning. It really makes a difference. Exercise daily. Um, you know, that's something I've always heard to. I know a lot of people adhere to that. However you do that, walking's wonderful. Whatever it happens to be, exercise daily gives you much more energy. Number three, do the hard work when you're refreshed in the morning. Now, there are a few people that it's better the later in the day, but for the majority of us, hard work up front, really feels like a lot of really positive things happen. And that goes into number four, is go through, and every time you have a meeting, if you're at work, talk about one thing positive, have everybody around the room go through one thing that is positive in their life. This comes from the Strategic Coach Program. We've been doing it for several decades. It's very effective to put people in a right frame of mind. It raises the energy level. Number five, read or view positive stories. There is so much negative stuff out there, you don't have to even look for it. You're going to run into it. But what you can be intentional about is make sure you're reading things that are more positive in nature and viewing things that are more positive in nature. And again, we'll keep your energy level up. And then finally, get better friends. <laughs> That's my Eeyore whole concept is that many times we have damaged relationships around us that really bring us down and it's not really something we want to continue on. So many times you have to try to sever those relationships uh, so it doesn't drag you down uh, into some place you really don't want to be. So during this time of COVID, we're really getting very much into a long, long time of dealing with all this stuff. It's great if you can continue to keep your energy level up. Six tips for you on how to do that. And until next time, enjoy.